when it comes to iPhone battery health and battery maximum capacity, this is a lie. In fact, this is going to change the way you're going to view your maximum capacity because if you go into your settings and you go to your battery section and you go where it says battery health and charging right there, you see that your maximum capacity, well, at least for me on my iPhone 14 Pro that I've had for almost six months, is at 100%. Now, this is a lie and is incorrect and I'm going to be showing you how you can find your actual maximum capacity or your battery health capacity using a very simple method. Now, the way you are going to do this is pretty simple. So first of all, you go into your settings and then you go to where it says privacy and security. And if you go all the way down, you will see this section that says analytics and improvements. Now, if you click there, you will see that you have analytics data. And by the way, if you have this turned off, you won't be able to see this section that says analytics data, which is the section that we want to enter in. So you would want to turn on your iPhone and watch analytics for a couple of days so that you allow your iPhone to gather data and be able to show you your actual battery health or maximum capacity that I'm about to show you. So if you don't see that, then turn it on for about three days and then you see analytics data. If you do have analytics data already, click where it says analytics data. You see there's a lot of information that's being captured by your iPhone or being documented. So the one that we want is the latest analytics and you see that it will be the one that's on the bottom just before analytics SD disk right we have analytics and you, you can see that they are dated 2023 February 21st and looking at the day today you can see it's Tuesday February 21st so this one is the more latest one and you can see the one above that is february 20 so we want the one that says analytics 2023 dash february 21st and if we click the way it says analytics that's the latest one that we have it's a big and very long file that has critical information that we need to know when it comes to our iPhone. But for the purposes of this video, we don't want to focus on everything. I just want to show you the last bit section. So if you were to scroll all the way down of this file, for some reason, it's not. Uh, if you hold this bar on the side and then you drag it all the way to the bottom, it's supposed to help you be able to scroll to the bottom faster and find the information that I want to show you because it's a lot of information. Now, what some people do, they actually select and copy the whole text and then they paste it in the notes. And that way, it's a faster way that you can find what I'm about to show you. But my phone is almost full and the storage that I have is very little so I find that whenever I copy everything it tends to crash so I'm almost at the bottom right now and you can see if I scroll all the way down I'll be able to see different metrics that my iPhone records and right now I'm at the bottom of this analytics file and you can see it has a bunch of information now once you're at the bottom you want to scroll up until you start seeing like last value or maximum value and then you'll be able to copy text from that section and you'll be able to see what your actual cycle count is and from that you can work your maximum health capacity so if you keep going up and go up a little bit more you'll be able to see where it says last value so we'll keep going up again and then we'll go up again until we see values that say last value or maximum or minimum value so it's going to be very close to this and now you can see we've started to see last value cycle count you have last count max q max and so on so the one that we want to see is this one that says value uh, it says last underscore value underscore cycle count so you can see here that my iphone right now says it has a cycle count of 181 now, in case you can't see that properly or this is a bit 
crowded for you to be able to see you can see where it says last value cycle count if you want to be able to enlarge it or see it in a better way you can copy this section of your notes and once you do this you can say copy and when you come into your notes here and you create a new note you can just click there and then say paste and then you just have to click find in the notes and if you search for last underscore value and then you can say underscore again cycle you see you have this one last underscore value cycle count and you can see here it says 181 so that's the 181 that you see here and you can see i'll just highlight it for you so that you can be able to see the one that i'm referring to so it starts right below that yeah so the one that i just highlighted is the value that we care for and want to know it says last value cycle count 181 now this is the number of charge cycles that my device has from the moment i bought it when it was new and i have 181 cycles now a charge cycle or one charge cycle is using your battery health or battery life that's charged to like 100% and all the way to zero. So if you charge your device to from zero to 100% and use that 100% all the way to zero, that's one charge cycle count. If you use your device from, let's say it's charged to 100% and you use it to like up to 50% today and then tomorrow you use another 50%, that's another charge cycle. So basically a charge cycle is a charge or using up 100% of your battery charge. It doesn't have to always be at the same time. It can be over a number of days where you use a percentage that's equivalent to 100%. And for me, you can see that I've done that up to 181 times. Now, this value is more or less correct because I bought this iPhone 14 Pro um some time ago it's almost six months i think it was in september so it's almost six months so if we go on our calculator and for me i basically go through my like battery almost every day so i charge it every night and by the morning i remove it off of the charger and then the next day too i charge it because it it's it's almost drained so i can say on a daily on a daily basis i use basically one charge cycle because i use my phone all the way from 100 close to like 20 or so percent and then next day is the same thing so would say since i've had this phone for almost six months so that's six times 30 days in a month which will give us 180 so you can see that since for me i do beta testing i do a lot of um, iphone updates and i cover videos on youtube so i'm a pretty heavy user and i by now i should have around 180 charge cycles and you can see here that the note is saying that i have around 181 cycle count so that's the number of times i've charged my device from 100 to zero or i've used 100 percent of charge worth of charge on my device so that value isn't correct and i have no doubt in it and in case you want to know how much you know your battery cycle counts are supposed to be before you replace you can see here on apple's website that talks about battery servicing and recycling they mentioned that for iphone order iphone owners your battery is designed to retain up to 80 percent of its original capacity at 500 complete charge cycles so uh, the one year warranty includes service coverage for this defective battery but you can see up to 80 percent after 500 complete charge cycles and from this you can basically work uh, like make a formula is because if let's say zero or one charge cycle is basically almost equal to like a hundred percent and a 500 charge cycles is equal to 80 percent then for me since i have 181 charge cycles you can basically say my percentage will somewhere be around um 93 percent since i would have used almost 7.24 percent 
of the maximum capacity but you can see if i go into settings and then if i go into where it says you know my battery section let me just find it right here you see that my maximum health capacity is at 100 percent now why is that now this is because apple uses a value figure to be able to determine your battery cycle count so they are not always going to account for the minor drop in the cycle or maximum capacity that you have so you won't see like 99.9 .9 or so on and also there's more factors that affect your maximum capacity other than just the cycle counts such as things or how much you drain your battery and how often you charge it to 100 percent and drain it to zero so if you drain your battery from 100% to zero and then connect it to a charger you find that your maximum capacity is going to be affected more and also if you let's say for example if you keep your phone somewhere between 20% once it your battery uh, how, how or your battery percentage drops to 20% you charge it to about 80% and then you remove it from the charger then your maximum capacity won't take a hit as much and it's even better if you keep your battery charged always between 40 and 60 percent now that's not always practical and a lot of people aren't going to do that but those are some of the factors that affect this and also another big factor that is recorded here is also the voltage and the uh, how how hot your phone gets while it's charging or the environmental factor also affects your maximum health capacity so even though my maximum health capacity here says 100 percent i know for a fact that that's just an estimated figure from apple considering the number of charge cycles that i have and also considering the actual battery condition physical condition of my device because it's affected by factors such as heat and also how low i drain my battery or how high i charge my battery so this is something that can help you out if you are looking forward to buying perhaps a used device and you want to see you know what's the actual charge cycle counts that the, that device has so this is a pretty simple and straightforward method that you can use to be able to see and understand your device better now i do cover a lot of these videos here on the channel and if you want to know more definitely do subscribe and uh, stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace